Hey guys, um, so this is kind of going to be a December slash January um, empties video. Not everything in here is empty because I am really bad about keeping empty containers unless I'm going to reuse them for something like these. Um, so I'm kind of picked up some stand-ins because um, I didn't really think about it and I was like, oh crap, I meant to keep that because <laughs> I wanted to get them all together at once and you know, I just, I don't like having that stuff sitting around. So um, a couple of stand-ins I got. Um, Here's a new full bottle of the Sicilian Mandarin. I went through, I've gone through probably about three of these <laughs> since they came out. Um, I love this scent. I was really, really sad to see it go. Um, it's a very nourishing orange scent. Um, I actually like using a couple of pumps of this in a bath because it actually helps hydrate my winter skin. Um, from, you know, like flaking and stuff like that. It's gross. But anyway, I love this. I love it that it sticks to your hands. Um, it last, seems to last for a while. You don't need a whole lot of it. Um, so I do use this for just regular, you know, like hand washing purposes and sometimes in the bath. Um, next thing, this one you can see is almost empty. I've gone through a couple of these already. Uh, this is the Wild Citrus Sunflower. They brought back over... Um, over the June semi-annual sale, I picked a few of these up. Love, love, love this scent. Um, they came out with another one over the summer that was pretty similar. It was called Hello Sunshine. But um, this one actually has like um, sunflower and orange type notes to it, whereas the Hello Sunshine had like lemon and, or or lemon and sunflower. And there was definitely a distinct scent difference. I prefer this one greatly to the Hello Sunshine. Um... This lotion's actually like empty, but I almost, except I like dumped it upside down and so it kind of got everywhere, but I got a few of those as well. Um, I guess I should probably, that one's wet, read you the scent notes. Um, unfortunately, can't get this anymore unless you like pick it up on eBay, but it says, um, our exclusive signature body lotion formula formula formulated with powerful ingredients. Uh, that's not really the scent notes, though. Here we go. Um, smooth over a body to moisturize and lightly fragrant skin with our exclusive wild citrus sunflower. A sunny blend of sparkling clementine, cheerful sunflowers, and luscious white nectarine. So it doesn't really list a whole lot of what's in there, but, um, I adore this scent. Next one, this one's not quite empty. It's, um, about half empty. Uh, I bought, I went like crazy with these because I, uh, you know, I saw these in the store when they came out and I don't know, I'm just not really a pink person. So I kind of just skipped over it. Um, but then when I went back to the semi-annual sale for over the winter, um, I saw it sitting there and, um, picked it up and smelled it. And this, oh my gosh, I just like fell in love. This was probably the greatest discovery for me besides the orange ginger. And I'm very sad that I missed out on it before, but I went a little crazy and I bought like so much of it. I mean, like, I hope it doesn't all go bad before I can use it all, but I seriously bought like three shower gels and like three lotions and probably like five sprays. <laughs> I went a little crazy, um, but I absolutely adore this. I've used quite a bit of it. Um, I've used quite a bit of the sprays. Uh, sometimes I even use it as like a room spray. I just need to like freshen up or something a little bit, but I don't want like the too overpowering lingering scent of the regular room sprays that Bath and Body Works offers. Um, next thing, I went through about three of these mason jars for the Blackberry Bramble. This one's a full one. I don't reuse the mason jars um, for like reusing the wax and stuff for candles. And um, because I had wax and stuff in them, I can't see me reusing these for food. Um, my cleaning, I don't trust my scrubbing abilities that well I guess I don't have a dishwasher so <laughs> I don't want to tempt fate on that one and have wax in my canned food but um I do save the uh the three wick uh, ones to reuse wax and I actually did another video on how I do that um I've already gone through another three wick of the blackberry bramble in like a week <laughs> I've been burning it pretty constantly <laughs> Um, I love burning this and mixing it with some other scents. Um, I've burned this while burning like pie-like scents, um, which smells pretty good. I burned it while uh, burning pump, uh, pumpkin pecan waffles and that wound up being a little bit too strong. So 
I don't know if I recommend that. Um, but I also burned this while burning the apple flower I got the other day, and that smelled pretty neat too. Um, next one, I've gone through a bergamot woods, and this is actually the second one I've been going through. So, and that's getting pretty low. Um, good cologne type scent. Um, doesn't really have a whole lot listed either in this one. It says bergamot, fresh lavender, and deep green cypress. Um, anything that has bergamot in it I think smells a lot like a cologne type scent, which I absolutely adore. Definitely get the lavender notes in there. Um, I'm not really familiar with what green cypress smells like by itself, so I'm not really sure if I smell that in there or not. I actually had a few of the sandalwood citrus empties. I still um, have a couple of candles left in sandalwood citrus. That's another staple scent for me. I adore it. Um, I've reused the jars on a couple of the other ones that I burned, so this is like the third empty I had on that. Um, next one I have here is the Holiday Wish. That came out of the uh, Black Friday bag. And this one says, Festive scent of golden apples, deep green pine notes, and glimmering amber will make your holiday wishes come true. This one got completely cleaned off. This actually, um, let's see what was in this, because I originally had one jar that was emptied that was the ski lodge, and I had to repot it because it was broken, and, um, let me see, I had tried to put the ski lodge in this one, I'm trying to remember what was in this one before I tried to put the ski lodge in this one, and it didn't quite work out because... They don't just slide in there neatly, unfortunately. Um, let me see if I can smell the glass. I can't really. I did a pretty good job uh, getting the scent out of this one, but it's still kind of icky. Well, that's a bummer. I included this in my video, and I can't remember what the heck it was. You know what? I think it might have been sparkling icicles. I'm like 90% sure that was sparkling icicles, because I actually did go through a couple of those as well. Um, so I went through, like, two sparkling icicles over the last couple of months and um, went through a few. So I went through sparkling icicles, sandalwood citrus, blackberry ramble, bergamot woods, the holiday wish. Um, I also went through an ocean side because I was having trouble letting that go and now it's back. <laughs> so I don't have to be sad about that being gone. Um, and then everything else, I've been kind of taking turns burning probably about like 10 different candles and I keep them on a separate shelf so that I uh, try to use those up before I light any more. But um, right now, the ones that I have going, I'm finishing this Blackberry Bramble. I've got the Cherry Blossom Sangria burning right now. I'm still kind of having mixed feelings about that one because I don't think it smells terrible. Um, mine actually does smell unlike some other people's reviews, but I, it it doesn't smell like a floral scent like I was expecting it to be or a wine type scent. It smells like cherry candy and I don't really like that. So I'm trying to figure out how I feel about that one. And um, I love the Blackberry Bramble. I don't know if I'm going to start another one right now because I need to get to through some of my other ones. But um, I definitely want to finish this one up. Uh, I have a Pumpkin Pecan Waffles um, that's almost empty. I didn't pull that one out because it's kind of a big jar one. But, um, yeah, so those are my empties for right now. I have a few others that I'm starting, so hopefully by the end of February I'll have um, a few different empties to share. Um, but I've seen a lot of people do their empties videos. I never really thought about it because I'm like, I get throwaway itis and throw away all of my empty stuff, so. <laughs> Alright, but um, anyway, I hope you guys got um, were able to pick up some good stuff during the sale. Um, we're able to try out some of your Christmas gifts and uh, maybe I'll see some of your empties videos on YouTube as well.